News for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, users? John with Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, we're going to go over the background morphing effect widget found at MuseForYouShop.com. So, with this widget, you can add a unique background to your Adobe Muse website with eight different colors for each section. And we have this nice movement to each section, kind of looks like a morphing effect um, as they're moving, and you can change the speed um, of this effect as well. So in this video tutorial, I'm gonna showcase how to use the widget and where to access. So here I'll go back to the shop and here are the features included. You can position the morphing background above the web page or fixed within the browser. You can select eight different colors for the morphing background. You can set the movement speed of the morphing background and you can disable the background at a certain breakpoint. So here we have the widget options and the community section. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get started on how to use the widget. So here I'll go into Adobe Muse. And the first thing I wanna do here is go to the library panel here to the right. And if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library. So here I'll go to the library panel and I'll type in background morphing. And here we have the background morphing effect widget. So here I'll click hold and drag and place into Adobe Muse. And here we have the widget. So once you place into Adobe Muse, and I just placed it here off the web page in the upper left. Uh, once you place it within the website, you can go to file, preview page and browser. And just like that, you have the background morphing effect uh, applied to the website. So I'll go over the widget options. So I'll open the, the widget options here. And the first section is positioned, so you can have it fixed in the browser. Or if you uncheck this, you can have elements appear below the browser uh, or below the background. And I'll just add a bit of uh, page height by grabbing the bottom of the page tab and dragging down. And I'll preview in the browser. And if I scroll, we have uh, that section appearing below the background morphing effect. So you'll just wanna place elements within the section to have them appear below the background. Um, I like the idea of having it fixed in the browser and just having elements on top of it. So as I scroll, that background stays fixed and I can have elements over it. Uh, so here we have the colors. You can select from uh, one through eight colors. The colors start on the left. So color one starts all the way on the left and color eight goes uh, is all the way on the right. So it goes from left to right. And then we have the movement. So you can set the minimum movement duration and the maximum movement duration. So each section, they'll select a speed between three and five seconds. So that'll set kind of the speed of those different sections. If I were to set this to one second and uh, 1000 milliseconds equals one second, and these values are in milliseconds. So if I were to say one second, uh, between one second and two seconds, we're gonna notice those sections move a bit quicker. So we can see they're all morphing at a quicker speed. All right, I like having it at three and five seconds because it's just a nice smooth movement. All right, so I'll set it back to three and five seconds. And then we have the breakpoint section. So you can disable the background at a certain breakpoint. So let's say for your mobile layout, you didn't want this background. Uh, you could say disable at breakpoint. And then once the breakpoint is less than this value here in pixels, um, the, break, the background will be removed. So I'll go ahead and preview in the browser and I'll go ahead and select the window resizer and I'll show it here. So right now the width of the browser is 1,382 pixels in width and once I resize to 480, we can see that that background is removed. So this effect does work well on mobile devices. Um, it is using modern animations. So on browsers like Internet Explorer, this effect uh, just becomes um, a solid image within the background. Um, but on uh, modern browsers like uh, Microsoft Edge, you know, uh, Firefox, Safari, and Google Chrome, this effect works really well. Just on, uh, you know, browsers like Internet Explorer that don't support modern browsers, uh, the effect just becomes an image. All right, so I'll go back into the widget. And yeah, so those are all the widget options. It's pretty straightforward. Position, colors, movement, and breakpoint. So the one thing I did want to go over in this tutorial 
is selecting the colors. So these colors are a variation of one color. Uh, you can have a rainbow effect of all different colors, uh, but I like the idea of having a uniform color spectrum for the different sections. It just makes it look nice visually. You don't have all this contrast between colors and they all have kind of that uniform, um, you know, harmony rule for all of these colors. So I'll go ahead and showcase how to select different colors for the widget. So I'll go ahead into Adobe Illustrator. Here I have a blank artboard and I'll go ahead and create a rectangle within Adobe Illustrator. And I'll go to the fill option here uh, to the left. So in Adobe Illustrator, it's all the way to the left. I'll double click and I'll select kind of this bluish color here for the rectangle and I'll remove the stroke. So within Adobe Illustrator with the element selected, you can go to window and go to color guide. And here we have the color guide with different harmony rules. So if I click the drop down right here, we have these different ha harmony rules. We have complementary, complementary two, uh, split complementary, uh, analogous, analogous two, monochromatic, monochromatic two. Uh, so all these different harmony rules to get a nice sequence of colors within the background. I'm gonna go ahead and select analogous two. And here we have the different shades and tints of the color that I selected here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the left. So I'm gonna select this darker blue and just go down diagonally. And once I get to this section, I might pick a few colors here at the bottom uh, to have eight colors for the background. So with this color selected, I'll go back to the fill option here to the left. I'll double click and I'll select this hex code here. So I'll hit Command C to copy and then I'll go back into Muse, go into the widget, go to color one, select the drop down and I'll paste that color in there. Then I'll go back into Illustrator. I'll hit cancel here. Then I'll select this color here. So I'll double click and go back to the option, to the fill option, hit Command C to copy, go back into Muse and just paste this color in there and go back into Illustrator, select this next color and I'll just repeat this process until I have eight colors for the background. So color five. So for the end here, I'm gonna to go to the right then down and to the right, so we have eight colors. Okay, and then the last color right here. Okay, so just like that, we have different colors for the background. And if I preview, we have that color spectrum for the morphing background effect. So with the morphing background, you can add elements over the background. So here I'll just create a text box, just like so. And I'll say background morphing effect widget. Highlight it here and I'll format it. Say Roboto, we'll change the size and we'll make it all capital, center it, add a bit of letter spacing and perfect. And then I'll make the text, we'll say white and I'll go ahead and preview. All right, so just like that, we have the background morphing effect. Um, I could make this text color a bit different so it's not uh, so there's a bit more contrast between the background and the text. Um, I like the colors I picked here for the preview. They're a bit darker and they have a nice contrast, um, so they look nice there. But yeah, you can go into Adobe Illustrator and just select the color guide and choose the colors that way. So you have a nice color spectrum uh, for the different sections of the background. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Uh, we've gone over the widget options, the position, colors, movement and breakpoint. Uh, to get access to the widget, you can go to uh, museforyoushop.com.
and here you can click subscribe today and here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year and here we have the background morphing effect widget and here you can click add to cart to purchase individually or again you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year here are the features included the widget options and the community section the video will be, be posted here above the community section um, and the preview page all right so that's it for this video tutorial again i do this to help you build awesome websites without code if you like this video tutorial you can subscribe below also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com so again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video tutorial thank you Muse for you, awesome websites without code.